In Russia, there was wall-to-wall -wall coverage of President Vladimir Putin's speech. It was even beamed down over the few pedestrians passing by this mall in Moscow. He spoke for nearly two hours to a crowd of the country's political elite and what appeared to be a few soldiers. Putin again said it was the West waging war while referring to Russia's invasion only as a special military operation. I want to repeat, it was the West who started this war, he said, and we used and are using force to stop it. There was no talk of what's been happening on the battlefield. Instead, pronouncements about how Russia's economy is weathering, even thriving under the sanctions. Not all are as enthusiastic. There is no reason to believe in the economy, said this man. Where will all these successes come from? We have a lot of opportunities, even though in many places the doors are closed. In his speech, Putin announced that Russia was suspending its participation in New START, its last remaining nuclear treaty with the U.S. Russian officials later said they are still committed to observing the limits around nuclear warheads and they could resume participating in the treaty again if the U.S. changed its policy. Hours later, when U.S. President Joe Biden spoke to a crowd of thousands in Warsaw, he took aim at Russia's president. President Putin chose this war. Every day the war continues is his choice. He could end the war with a word. Biden's speech and the setting presented a triumphant air, a tone much different than the speech in Moscow. He does not have a clear uh, strategic vision. So the this political researcher uh, says Putin's speech was unremarkable uh, because there isn't much to brag about. I think Putin himself understands that the West will never uh, consent to these demands. Uh, so it's more like a demonstration of uh, resolve, so we're not going to stop. Uh, one clear message uh, in the speech is that the war is not going to stop. A large part of Putin's speech focused on domestic initiatives like helping soldiers' families and making life more affordable. It can be seen as a deliberate effort to boost confidence in the president at a time when the war he started now enters its second year. Briar Stewart, CBC News, London.